And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. But this is not the right theme for this. This is not the right theme for this, people. You guys, we're bringing the lab back because it's... That's right. We're finally here. We're back again. It's episode number three of the Crit Lab. Yes. <laughs> episode three. Three. We've been doing the Crit Lab for three years. So that's what that means. One a year is what we do. Yeah, I think the last one we did was with Nognoth. We, we were checking out his Kingdom Death mod uh, with Nognoth himself back in 2016. I think it was not November. Two, it was the end of 2000. No. Yeah, it was the end of 2016. Yeah, was no. it literally it was, the end of, it was the end of 2016 because it was it was also the last time we ever saw Dave. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, savage. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, guys, what's going on? Good to see you. As you noticed, uh, we've got Lyle, we got Matt, but we especially have special guest camper. He's been with us a long time. He's been supporting us for a long time. Awesome member of the community. It's Westgro, guys. It's Westgro. Give him some crit cheers in chat. What's going on, Westro? How you doing, man? Not bad. How are you guys doing today? Good. Awesome. Oh, crowd, settle down, crowd. Jeez. Yeah, they're they're pumped. I mean, <laughs> wow. yeah, they're... yeah, obviously. No, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yeah, uh, man, thanks so... for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we're super excited. We've been trying for a long time to get this game on. I know you guys. Did you do this on your stream? You've been streaming over to Happy Time, Happy Fun Time Live, right? Affiliate. Uh, oh yeah, he's an affiliate, by the way, guys. I don't know if you noticed, he was an affiliate. <clears throat> yeah, dude, this affiliate. Did you know he was that's an affiliate? why I had to. That's why room, I had to. Is there room in, this, in the stream for, for yeah. an affiliate? I oh. mean, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> what, what shirt is that? This shirt says. Oh, wait, what? Uh, that's, yeah, that's... Porter, <laughs> Porter, Twitch Porter. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. Um, but uh, Get no. Good. Um, <laughs> I'm working on it. No. Uh, so yeah, but uh, yeah, I got affiliate two months ago actually. Uh, yesterday or a day ago was like our our anniversary, I guess. Uh, nice, month, man. month anniversary. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, side news: Dayu actually just got his affiliate letter. That's so right. Dayu is, is yes, also that's an right. affiliate. Woo! Congratulations yeah. to Dayu. Dayu's been tuning in. He's been hanging out yep. with you at Happy Fun Time Live as well, but also doing solo. Absolutely. So good for yes. you, man. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank We're proud of you guys. Um, We're glad you guys are doing. We're glad you guys are kind of taking with it and running with it, and uh, the community supports you guys as well. So that's yes. super rad. You've been having fun, right? Yes, and we and we and we appreciate all the support from the community as well. Um, without you know the support that you guys have have helped with, um, we probably wouldn't be where we are now. So we appreciate that too. So thank you for that. Of course, man. I mean, I'm, I'm speak for everyone here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course. Of course we're happy, yeah, yeah, right, guys? Absolutely. Of course. Of course we're happy. <laughs> Be happy. Um, uh, well, yeah, so uh, I did a little bit of streaming of, of this game. Not really the playtesting of it, but actually some of the design aspects of it. Uh, yeah. Last week, right after we spoke about doing it on air, I had to do some last-minute revisions, some change, change some stuff up, and... Uh, no, so I, I streamed some of the design parts of that, which I think going forward I'm, I might do um, once at least a month uh, some design stuff on stream. So, Very so you guys cool, get a behind the scenes look at it. Thanks. Well, we're psyched to have you on to, to go over this and, and learn a little bit more about you as a camper and a community member, uh, but even more to support this game and support game design uh, and and try to make it a better game. Uh, but before we jump into you and this awesome game, Lyle, how you doing, buddy? I'm I'm doing okay. <laughs> Lyle's been busy with house stuff, I think. I think yeah, I've been I've been busy with house stuff. I'm yeah. also starting to feel a little under the weather, mm. so um, yeah, it's not good timing. Um, and I got like sort of like it's been it's been good news, bad news with the house. Um, that's, that's I don't know. I'm, I'm having a, I'm having electrical issues now. Now that I've solved my plumbing issues, <laughs> so that's wonderful. Do you have buzzing uh, and in then your my speakers? Front like steps, my good. my front steps were all completely rotted out. Oh. Um, and. And so I had to uh, rebuild them this week. That that was great. I think Soto um, Beast so... just, just filled it all out in, in proper emote form of, of Lyle's house. Oh, yeah, yeah, basically, basically. <laughs> um, and it's rough because, like, so we're, we're, hosting, we're hosting a Friendsgiving this Sunday. And, uh, and, and my wife, Casey, threw out, the, uh, like, an invite a few weeks ago on it. And she, like, she was like, all right, I'm just going to invite, like, 20-something people, yeah. which in, in New York – meant that like four to six people would come, right? So, <laughs> yeah. right? No, Chris, you know exactly what I'm yeah, saying, exactly. right? You throw out to like 20, 30 people, you'd be like, all right, now we're going to get a good group of six. Right. Um, 
But not here, not here in Tennessee. Um, we threw out a new night, and everybody but two decided to say, "Hey, they're coming." So now <laughs> we're like, throwing a, a yeah. So now we're throwing a Thanksgiving for like twenty <laughs> for twenty uh, people three people plus us. Um, yeah, it's really great. And now I'm feeling all this pressure to get the house ready, yeah. and things are broken, and Good. things are getting crazy, and I'm feeling not so great. And yeah, that's my life right now. <laughs> that's great. That's good stuff. Uh, awesome. Well, congratulations, Lyle. Thank you. And, and, and you're not going to pack some plugged or anything, right? Like in between all this? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not going to pack some plugged. <laughs> yeah, pack some plugged right in the middle, right, right after that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's awesome. Mul- that's yeah. awesome, Lyle. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let, let's let's throw it to Maddie Butts over yeah, there. Let's throw it to Matt. Well, how, Matt. How you been, Maddie Butts? Matt, you went to BlizzCon though, so that's good news. Yeah, yeah, that is the news. Yeah, that is the news. What what? Tell us a little bit about your BlizzCon experience this year. We want the BlizzCon recap real quick. BlizzCon recap real quick. Yeah. Well, uh, well, let us know the cool the best stuff. Years here. for hanging out with uh, with people. I had a really good time, like socially, um, with uh, the groups I met up with, and then some of the, the buddies I hung out with years before. The announcements were, they were they were decent. I mean, there was nothing like mind blowing this year. I guess if you're a WoW fan and you're really into the Alliance and the Horde fighting each other, then this was a really good year for you because that's like the whole next expansion. Hmm. Um, the Heroes of the Storm uh, announcement, those characters, pretty cool. Um, played, got to play those. Those are good. Overwatch, who, if you're into that. Who who were the Hots characters? Alex Straza and Hanzo. Oh, Alex Straza, dude. Yeah, cool too. Like, she's cool. I want to be Alex Straza. She is. She's a she's a healing. She's, she's a, a healer who uh, has a trait that she can turn into a dragon, and she actually like sacrifices herself. Her health. Yeah, I, I was going to ask: Does she is she in dragon form to start, or, or is it is she in human form and then goes to dragon um, form? Her dragon form is a passive. When you enter the game, it starts with, like a hundred twenty second cooldown, and then whenever you use it, the cooldown um, comes back. But it gives you a bunch of bonus health. Yeah. It changes her auto attack into like a ranged fire breath, and it turns like all of her other abilities into slightly different things. So her like her her auto attack hurts enemies and, and heals friends while she's in dragon form. Um, and then all of her other abilities like get bigger and have like secondary things. Um, so she uh, she's pretty cool. She's a cool support. I liked her. I think I'm gonna like. Uh, I think I'm really gonna enjoy her a lot. Um, having to trade your health to heal. Hmm. Although I don't find that to be that much Alex Straza from the lore I know of her, I think is a really cool mechanic. Hmm. So cool. yeah, cool. She's fun. Hanzo like is like a guy with a bow yeah. and you're like, Oh, a guy with a bow, but he's actually pretty fun. Um, for like a guy with a bow who also like has a dragon, <laughs> I guess, in one of his arrows. Hmm. Um, so that's neat. Uh, but yeah, that was, they were a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm excited about that. More excited about Hanzo than I thought. And, yeah. um, yeah, yeah. Nice. Moira, I got to play one game with Moira from Overwatch. She's neat, and otherwise watch a lot of tournaments and got to hang out with War Gamer Girl and her husband and nice dude and Shannon. Um, yeah, nice. And her husband? Shannon. No, Frank doesn't. Frank didn't go to BlizzCon. Oh, okay. And Dan Dan didn't go to board uh, BlizzCon either. No, no, he didn't. So he couldn't throw that in my face. But I did a podcast with Dan Dan. So ha 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 ha! I got yeah. to do in, in which in which he did mention hanging out with Matt and Shannon at BlizzCon. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got so tired of you. I heard he pretended to like have technical difficulties. And oh, oh, he tried to cancel oh, the whole stream on me. Yeah. Maybe I misunderstood. No, you were right. No, you're right. You right. You right. He was like he was like, oh, my internet went down. Yeah. Oh, oh how about that? That sucks. <laughs> and then then I came back. I was like, hey man, I can I can re-record it like anytime. Oh, man, anytime. Yeah, you he's like, like oh yeah, uh, wanna, I'm yeah, really busy. Like I'm really busy, oh. and I just kept bugging him. And then he said, "Yeah, you do it." <laughs> yeah. Well, first yeah, he was sure. like, "Actually, I lost." He was like, "I gotta take these off." He's like, I-, "I lost the whole episode. I lost the whole episode." And I was like, "Oh, don't worry, I, I backed it up." And he was like, "Ah, oh, you did." That's, oh, jeez. Sucks. And I was like, "What?" <laughs> the files corrupt. Yeah, so it made it. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. What What were some cool merch you got? You always got to show the cool, um, the cool Hearthstone or not Hearthstone. We usually do. This year was was weird. We were talking a little bit about this for the stream. So Blizzard went the way of um, tapping into the OCD elements of every gamer, and um, they started like a. Four years ago, they started with these pins, these collectible pins. There's, like, color versions of the pins and then gold versions and, you know, the gold ones are rare, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You had to get them. And I guess it was such a success or they they decided they wanted to be terrible people. So this year, our merchandise was a bag. So it was a Blizzard bag. And at first, it was like, oh, cool. They're giving everybody a backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is great. Yeah. 
you see it, and the very first thing you notice is that this much of it is just this kind of shitty looking Velcro. And you're like, okay, well, so you go inside and there's these badges. And Blizzard gave you these six exclusive badges, one for each of their franchises. And they're like, put these on your bag. And they're like, some of the lines you go into, you'll get badges. And then other people are like, NVIDIA are like, here's our badge. And then they're like, and by the way, there's also the 21 badges you can get from our store. And for like five or six dollars, you can get a pack of three random ones. So they did that with badges. They did that with pins. They created these cute but deadly little, they're like the, they're kind of like the pop miniatures. Right. Those are random. And there was like 10 there. And then on top of that, they did these little bag hangers with hooks. So yeah, our good they had bag this, yeah, yeah. was a lot of like collectibles that felt like they were trying to like bait you into buying stuff. So most important question, how many of the, how many did you collect? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how many did you buy? I, I didn't buy any. <laughs> show, us, I show us your backpack, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here's my yeah, 70 uh you know what i'm gonna get my backpack for you right now <laughs> to prove it you know he's got like <laughs> 70 he's this, cute but deadly he's diablos the six. he's just gonna have the six ones that he gave in the beginning <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'll, that'll be perfect oh uh, yeah i mean everyone's saying in, in chat lackey says uh what's going on you lackey pax does the pins things too that have made hundreds of thousands of dollars from it yeah the right. pins well, things somebody huge. somebody collected a bit uh. now, hold on. <laughs> oh look at this guy he went around <laughs> somebody got into it <laughs> Okay, look. Oh, look at so, this guy. There's more than six, six on there. around the edge of the ones they gave us. Uh, right? Okay, okay. This one you got for going and demoing World of Warcraft. Okay. Yep. This one for Heroes of the Storm. This one for Overwatch. And this one is if you bought something at the Dark Moon Fair. So the only thing I actually bought out there was uh, there was an anthology of all the Overwatch, com- Overwatch comics they have online. Okay. And they put it in like a, a nice hardback form. So these ones were all free. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Aaron Air says, what about the other three backpacks? <laughs> yeah, what, what about your, uh, your L5R backpack? Don't even worry about it. Yeah, but yeah so it's like, this is the exclusive oh. that As they starts- gave us just for theirs. This is the Reaper I randomly opened. That's, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. That, that's I don't cool. Know, man. I want a Reaper. I don't, my pin is elsewhere. I don't but, even Overwatch, and I'll, I'll take a Reaper. Yeah, Dude, I, the Reaper man, is this, cool. This, uh, this haul seems, seems, you know, real, real skimpy compared to... I think it was like one year, like you got like you had fuzzy slippers. And yeah, you, you were got sitting like, here all like you had, you I had bought cookies those. and you had that you was had, money. Like... The last year's box was the best box was the ten year anniversary. So we got uh, the Stein. Yeah, and we got some real sweet stuff. So this year, what uh, they gave us like I think a bag. Uh, no, the messenger bag. I think I ended up. I think they did give us a ten year anniversary bag too. So I think this year maybe they were like making up for how good last year's was. <laughs> but the important thing is the people I hung out with were awesome. The hall. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a little talk. I'll send Mike Morham a letter. But now, <laughs> to, like, to, like to be a, a, a honest and, and not to break away too much in it, but like, isn't the best part of going to a lot of those cons the people you meet and the interactions you have with like the individual people, and not not so much the glo- like the the big pomp and circumstance yeah. stuff they do. Cool. It's 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 more to do with like all the great interactions you have with the people you're meeting there. Well, Matt Matt okay. actually likes to do um, tourneys uh, at. Uh, at cons, he like just oh, okay. no, 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 <laughs> that's no, 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 wow. that's only a Gen Con, and that was a mistake twice. <laughs> uh, BlizzCon, uh, I don't do any tourneys. I, I watch, I watch more of the, um, I watch the tourneys there. But for the most part, yeah, it's it's getting that big announcement and then going and playing the line with friends and talking about, oh, what do you think about Alex Straza and all that stuff. So uh, that's cool. There was some cool stuff and getting to demo the new heroes of the. For those of you who are into Hearthstone, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, the yeah. cobbles and catacombs thing. Yeah. The three boss thing. Already bought it. And it's cool. <laughs> uh, like just the three boss demo. It's going to be like nine bosses, I think. Oh, you got to demo okay. it like ahead of time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So you got to do three bosses. So Pretty cool, all man. my friends like couldn't beat it. But like my the third boss I got to was like a real joke. So I don't know if they're just bad or I'm lucky or some combination of the two. But yeah, it it, it was probably the easiest thing I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> just Calling out Soto and Elaki, two great comments there. <laughs> if you didn't get to see that chat, screw people. I want badges. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then uh, Elaki talking down on tourneys, even though he's running all the ones. He runs, he's the guy who runs all the tourneys, and then he's like, "Oh, they're stupid. Oh, damn it." <laughs> well, Elaki, if less people did tourneys, the more the more con Lackey could go see. So that's that's true. He needs less. We get to hang out a lot. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Less yeah. is more. Um. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, I'm glad you got to go to BlizzCon. I was jealous. As soon as I saw everyone going to BlizzCon, uh, and everyone was super psyched. And it looked it looked beautiful. They have all the cool statues, and I always see your photos. And I'm always like, I texted Lyle, I was like, why aren't we at BlizzCon? 
Like, why are we not yeah. going to BlizzCon? I want to go yeah, to BlizzCon. The new Sylvana statue they released this year was real kick-ass. Oh, did you get one? Did you get that? No, no. I mean, they make they'll make a new statue every year, like a right. huge statue. Oh, you're talking like about this. They they made a small size. one though, didn't they? I saw people buying like a like a you could buy they have, it, like they have statues you can buy, but I I. I don't know if they made a purchasable version of this. Oh, anyway, I'll, that... I'll throw a picture up at some point. Oh. I mean, it is. Yeah, I saw your pictures awesome. on Twitter and or Facebook and stuff. They were awesome, man. That was yeah. super cool. Um, but uh, awesome, dude. Well, I'm glad you had a good time at BlizzCon. It's good to have you back. We're ready to. We're, we're, we've got the. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that's what we want. Mark, 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 mark. <laughs> Let's get the snorts. But uh, awesome, man. Well. Let's welcome in Wes Grow one more time, and uh, it's glad to have you, buddy. Uh, you've been hanging out at the camp for a long time, um, and you, you, you're part of this community. A lot of people know you here, uh, yep. and, and we're glad to have you. We're going to test out your game tonight, um, but I wanted to ask you, how long you, you have you been designing games, and, and what are some of the awesome games you've been playing as of late, and what are you excited about? Um, so I guess we'll start, yeah, so, uh, designing, honestly, not very long. Um, the, I got the bug... Uh, shortly after I started watching you guys, but actually uh, One Deck Dungeon was the trigger for me, mm-hmm. I'll be honest. Um, nice. A lot of the concepts that were in One, De- One Deck Dungeon, and I was a big um, deck building uh, fan, so Dominion, I, like, I'm a huge Dominion fan, and I really enjoyed the elements of Dominion. I started playing like more games like Ticket to Ride, and then it started ramping up more and more, like to the point where I started like playing Mansions of Madness and just more involved, more involved. You know, um, and I was always an, like an avid video game player. Um, but as I got older, you know, to be completely honest, the community, the, the toxicity in the communities um, drew me away from, you know, video gaming mm-hmm. as much as I used to. Um, and even like the friends I had that played video games, they were like buying into and growing into the toxicity of those communities. And um so I kind of stopped playing a lot of video games. I, I moved more toward single player games and I was like, you know, I'm done. And uh, then there was just a period where, you know, I was working retail like a lot. Um, I was, I was, you know, supervisor, you know, working up to be a manager. Um, and I was just spending so many hours in the store, you know, if I felt like I was just the, the herding cats is the term where you're just like, there's just a bunch of cats running around and you're just trying to get everything together. Um, <laughs> And there's this really crazy ebb and flow that happens within the retail uh, marketplace where if you're a a leader within retail, um, naturally your department performs well and then doesn't. Mm -hmm. And it's the nature of business. Um, And your employees perform well and then they don't and they go back up. And um, and if you are if you play the game right. Um, in, within retail, no pun intended here, but if you play the game right, uh, you could quickly move up and through the ranks, but you have to like work in a job for a year, move to another city or state into a bigger store and then move again. And that's how you grow with it. Hmm. Um, and if you don't play that game, you get, you stagnate. And my family, you know, was really just starting out when I started in retail and then, you know, I got kind of locked into what I was doing and I moved out. I didn't move to where I should have moved. And I stagnated and that sort of crashed and burned. So fast forward to where we are now. Um, I am, I'm a stay at home dad with my son and I still work retail very like occasional seasonal, uh, at a major electronic retailer, uh, you know, uh, great purchase, I guess we could say. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm still there, but it's, uh, I work like once a month, um, which is, is great for me. Um, and this is kind of the, the game design stuff is actually what I do in my free time and the streaming. Nice. Uh, which, which being, a, and I think Chris, you can attest to this being a stay at home dad, um, uh, or just a parent in general, there's not much free time anymore. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. <laughs> free time. No. What? That's what we're doing right now. We're spending our free time yeah. doing this. Exactly. Well, that's you know, awesome, the man. hours that we should be sleeping, we're doing this, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you found the camp. How have you enjoyed uh-huh. your stay in the camp? Did you make yourself a nice tent? Did you fight your way I, to to the end? I, I, the I, settlement I, we have here. Have you survived long enough? Yeah, I think I, I think I have. I, I think I'm doing all right. What um, did you, you spend know, your survival on? 
<laughs> yeah, Long- longevity. I, I don't yeah, know. Uh, what are you? What are you crafting? Dude? Beds. What are you, what are you crafting beds, right now? Betting. I think I have to spend some points Cooking? on like uh, res- resistance, disease resistance, going to PAX unplugged this uh, month because that's right. Uh, the pox is real, and uh, already Lyle has a scratch, and uh, yeah. Chris um, uh, from I'm sorry from Dice Hate Me already talked about how he's sick this week, and then he's going to PAX unplugged oh, next God. week. So rip. Our health uh, over oh, the no. next month, right? It's gonna, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna <laughs> compound. Well, awesome, man. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm psyched. We're psyched to meet you next week at PAX, and you're gonna bring bringing a copy of this, a demo copy of this. I, I'm going to okay. be trying. I have like an early alpha build of it. That's that's. This is like ten revisions past that. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna try to get this printed at Staples, <laughs> yeah, man. and then nice. sleeve it. Um. Whatever, so. Man. So yeah, what, whatever I could get done before PAX, I'm going to try to. But um, Sweet. everything's kind of tight right now. So well, it's going to be I'm a lot of fun. I, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I, and I speak for all of us here, saying like, thanks for all the support you've provided us, Westgro. Thank you for everything, yeah. and thank you for bringing your game on. Uh, you've been an awesome part of our community. You're always hanging out here, and you've, you're hanging at your good friends with everyone in the chat as well. So definitely say what's up to Westgro and stuff when you ever see him hanging out in the chat. And tonight, let's give him some feedback on his game, guys. You can find him at, at Westgro too, um, and you can uh, definitely go give him a follow on Twitch. At Happy Fun Time, right? Happy Fun Time. Uh, happy Fun Time, time live. live. Yeah, Happy Fun Time Live. Twitch.tv slash Happy Fun Time Live. Uh, go, go hit him up there. Give him a follow and talk about his game there. Even uh, it's gonna be good times. Good times. But uh, before we jump into his game, guys, we have to do this sophisticatedly because now we're in the Crit Lab, right? We're we're the fisti- sophisticated folk. Lyle, what are you drinking while we uh, analyze this game and, and talk about? Oh, so- <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, sophistication. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking. I'm drinking green tea with ginger. In a in a mug, it's wonderful. That's a nice mug. That's the mug you get at like the Howard Johnsons. The inn. They always have those at like the front or the Denny's. Those are, that's yeah. a straight up Denny's mug, dude. Yes, it is. Dude, this is a this is a uh, mug I got for a quarter at a at a thrift store. I was gonna say like, that that a guy stole yeah, from Denny's. If you look on the bottom. There's a little Heroes of the Storm symbol, and if you just keep putting quarters in, dude, maybe you'll get all <laughs> yeah. jumping them in. Call. That's a good yeah, callback. That's true. Or if you're at TwitchCon, it has a little Twitch. It's just Twitch on the bottom. You'll sell that for twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, it says it has a T, and then you have to find oh. the W, the I. You have to find all of them and spell it's, it. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, this guy. <laughs> well, well, Wes, what were you drinking as we uh, as we go through this game? Um, tap water was what I was drinking, and it's gone. Oh, so and a I fancy might ass glass too. It's nice yeah, glass. Well, this is. I mean, this is ten years of marriage. This is what it does. Yeah. Nice china. You don't. You don't get. <laughs> you don't have the bachelor stuff anymore. Yeah, right. It's, right. It's, uh, does it have butterflies you know, on it? Stuff that I get. Oh yeah, this is Butterfly Meadow by Lennox. <laughs> Good. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is uh, you know ten years in in the uh, accumulation, and this is all we have now. We have great glasses, so now if I drop one, oh, I'm punished for a week. You know, this, this 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 is like I'm just realizing we're aging ourselves like dramatically. Like Lyle's like, look at my Denny's mug, and, and like I'm like, look at my background, and then you're like, oh, this is uh, Butterfly Meadow uh, glassware. So here we're gonna go to Matt. Matt, what are you drinking out of? To bring us Dude, back. Dude, I'm actually out of all liquid. I'm <laughs> dehydrating myself in preparation for a big old glass of salt later. He's like, oh. just salt, salting himself. Okay, that's good. Drinking the tears. Drinking the tears. tears. Drinking my tears. You. Probably, probably. Uh, well, I'm drinking out of this awesome glass. I'll bring it around and make it classy. Flossy, floss. Let's see, it'll focus on it. I'm oh. the queen of everything tonight. Oh. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> it's my queen of everything glass, and I'm drinking a 287 whiskey because I want to be sophisticated, like we're in a science lab. I guess you've like you've like really made it, haven't you? <laughs> like, I'm the queen of everything, Matt. I'm actually like really proud of you right now. Look at me. I'm in a ba- I'm in my in laws basement. Queen of everything, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got it all figured out, man. All figured out. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be queen. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get into this game. I want to get into this game, and we want to talk and have a good time. I can't wait to see what this is about. Don't lie. That's that's weak tea. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. If I was Evil Ed, this would be weak tea. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so let's jump into this thing. But first, guys, if you sub to us this month, you have a chance to win mass more of this great dungeon crawler game. I just want to drop that there. But for all our subs, that's the giveaway for tonight. So we're super psyched. Get in there and all that good stuff. So let's jump into this game, guys. Um, so how we're going to do this tonight is basically we're going to run this. Matt, uh, uh, Wes is going to run this. We're, we're jumping into this pretty virgin, pretty uh, straight up. We've never seen his game. So it'll be like sitting down at a con and uh, play testing with us. So he's going to teach us the game from the beginning, tell us about all the elements, and then we're going to play it. And then if, we, if, yep. if it goes well and we move through it, we'll play it again. And we'll see how it goes. And we'll, and we'll comment on it and uh, give some feedback, guys. 
Uh, yep. Tell us what you think in chat and as we're going along and um, ask away. So, Wes, I think we're going to hand it over to you. Okay. Teach us how to play Adventures in Retail, my friend. Yeah, so still a working title, but uh, that's okay. I think we're, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, but yeah, adventures in retail. I like it. Um, born out of my experience in retail, so sure. the basics um, you're gonna be doing is you guys are gonna be competing each other against each other to have the top performing department in your own store. Okay, uh, the, it's a series yeah, right. of uh, six rounds. Um, each round, you're going to field three sales unless there's an event that happens that causes that to change. Now, events could increase the amount of sales you have, increase item values that you sell that week, um, or you know, a various various other things uh, in, 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 uh, affect your employees. So those are the events. Um, you're going to have these edge cards. Um, whoop! I'm, I just got tabletop simmed. <laughs> <laughs> Get simmed. Get simmed. Uh, your ed department edge cards. Those are going to be the cards that you can use to affect your own sales, the results of them, and other players' sales. So those are your traditional screw and counter cards. Uh, they'll either counter abilities on your employee or customers you're trying to serve, um, or they're going to screw, or sometimes you actually you could save another another uh, player on the table as well. Um, right. So we'll, those are the most complicated cards, and we're probably going to run into the most questions with those as we go through. Um, the employee cards, obviously, are going to be the people who you're going to employ. Uh, each of us at the beginning of the game, and I'll do this right now. So I'm going to give you guys each five edge cards. You guys start with five edge cards. Um, right. And you start with two employees. So do a quick shuffle on the board. And what would you say – so so you, did you already say what the, the end goal Ooh. of this is? Uh, again, can you uh, – The end goal is to, to have the top performing department. Okay. Um, so you have to sell the most in sales, um, and the, pretty much the the sales are directly these products right here. There's three tiers: uh, yellow, green, or sorry, red, yellow, and green. Okay. Uh, and that's based on the rolls that you make and any modifiers between the employee cards and the customer cards that happen. Mm -hmm. um, and so, at the end of each round, we'll total up and see where we are. And you know, you get to sort of at the end of each round, you get to reevaluate and say, okay, well, okay, Matt's. Let's say Matt's in the lead. We should really put point all of our our screw cards toward Matt this turn to get him balanced down to where where we are, um, and there's a lot of like balancing things with that. You know, um, it's a traditional you know uh, screw game where you know you could really pile it on one player, um, but there's also a pretty at least I think at this point a pretty decent balance for for uh, counters for that. Um, so, okay, so you guys start with five of those, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, each get two employees. I'm going to deal those out now. Okay. All right, so those are your employees, um, and those employees are, are public knowledge. So I don't know which card's going to be belong to who on the bottom here, yeah, but so we can go ahead and put those out. Who wants to be over here? I'm, I'll be bottom right, I guess, because I'm yeah. the first, right? I'm in the corner here, so I'd say here. Okay, so Westgrove. And then I guess this is me. Yep, While. second. Okay, and then I'll be here, and then Matt's over here. Okay, so we put, should we put these out? Yep, you can put them out. I right, actually so ended is, up with two is, of the this same. This is all public knowledge. All right. This is all public knowledge, yep. Okay. Um, so you're going to see on your employee cards, if you zoom in to one of your cards, um, you're going to see the name of the employee, um, their gender, sex, and then the uh, sales per week that they are able to field. So before we start anything, I'm going to ask how many sales you guys need total. So look at your two employees and tell me how many sales you could field per week right now. Uh, four. Okay. So two you're going to get tokens for those. Okay. I'm adding together my two dudes, right? Our yep. sales per week. So I get five. Uh, Chris gets five. Where are you? This guy? Okay. Yeah, I guess yeah, we could have written our name like... down or something. I need to sell more, man. Dude. And then, Matt, you get how many? Three. Three. <clears throat> um, all right. There. I, <laughs> I just have two. Um, oh, that's what I'll do. Oh, now it. All right. So now if you closely look at your that's employee right, cards. What's up? Oh, <laughs> um, if you take a look at your employee cards, you'll see that there's, they have strengths and strengths and weaknesses. Um, pointing out just by glancing at the table right now, uh, Chris, at the beginning of the round, you're going to have to roll for Old Faithful. Um, 
Matt, you're going to have to roll for On the Edge. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Go I, ahead. I thought I only had three. Do I have four? And I'm, I'm sorry. That, yeah, that, that might have been... Okay, three. just making sure. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to have to roll um, for that. Yeah. So um, certain employees, at the beginning of the round, you have to roll to, to check to see what's going on with them. Um, for, exa- for my example, I have two store transfers. Um, the premise behind a store transfer is that they come from another store, so they are doing them th- the way that they were used to doing them. Um, so it's going to affect their sales initially. Um, so what they're doing when they come into the new store is they're – and you can read uh, – the, the text on the bottom is a, not a great font, but uh, overheard saying to another employee, that's not how they did it. it uh, that's not how my old store did this. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. so the whole idea is that they're acclimating uh. to – the store so you run an acclimation check or acclimated check and if they become acclimated going they go from one sale a week to being able to field three sales Dang. but i have okay. to be able to i have to roll that acclimated check if i don't they stay with their crappy attitude from the old store <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, so moving across the table um lyle's not going to have any rolls but he has some actually really cool cards we'll, we'll go over those in a second um Chris, you don't have any, you have one, Old Faithful. So the premise behind Old Faithful, he's that old employee in the store. He's been there for a long time knocking around, but his health is starting to wane. Um, so you have to actually roll to see if he's healthy enough to come in uh, that day. Um, oh, to even after, do anything? If, if, he, if, he, if he rolls, if you roll under a 10, he's unavailable this turn. And um he can only fail three health checks so you're going to put uh, essentially a death counter on this guy in this case and eventually wow. eventually old faithful he <clears throat> doesn't make it back from the hospital it's rough man. <laughs> what <laughs> what this game is ridiculous <laughs> no, it's real this is real uh, life all right real talk um, and real then, talk and then matt you have on the edge so this is this is this is your your basic employee that you know middle aged they've been working for a while um, you know, they, they've been working really hard, but they've just, they're on, they're on the edge. They're, they're about to lose it. Uh, yeah, the, it. the little flavor text on the bottom is employee has developed a strange eye twitch, right. yeah. um, which is, <laughs> this looks like yeah, Matt, yeah. this looks yeah. like something yeah. Matt would wear. So, yeah. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> Hey guys, I got to uh, work today. I'll, I'll, I'll hang out. <laughs> I'm going to go put on uh, my, my, uh, blizzard t-shirt that I got. <laughs> God, I roll. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, you have to roll a sanity check with him and if he loses it, um, he just doesn't show up at work anymore and you put him back, you put him in a discard pile next to the employee pile and you grab a new employee. So that's it. I mean, that's the basics of before we start here. So any oh, questions? At least I, oh, I get to replace my employee at Old Faithful. Okay. He doesn't, I don't just lose him completely. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you fit, yeah, exactly. You lose him, but you get to quickly replace him. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> I thought yeah. I was just screwed. <laughs> it feels weird to like... It feels real mean about like throwing your employees into the discard pile. Yeah, <laughs> is there like? A, it, I mean, I know I'm the LCG player here, but is there like is there like action windows where I can play my cards in my hand? Because I already got some some stuff. Yeah. What you already got some sick plays? So <laughs> so looking at the the actual the top the tops of the cards that you have in your hand, um, there's symbols. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show. Actually, let me see if I'll I can pull some cards out of here to show you guys. Yeah, sure. Uh, examples so we so you get to know gotcha. um, different symbols that will be on the cards yeah show us what's up show yep. us how these department edge cards work sure yeah. thing uh that's gm's friend and uh we'll do blackout okay so we'll start with uh <laughs> i right think this is uh, but we'll start with the the customer calls expert relative. Okay. Um, so the the symbol on the top left it means after a sale. So you see the little um, sale badge and then the arrow pointing to the end of it. Uh, yeah. That means that you can only, you play that right after somebody makes a sale because it affects the level of that sale. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. And then the screw on the other side of the card is just symbolizing that it's a screw card. Um, start means that you played at either the start of a round or the start of a player's turn. It's usually right on the card it will say play at the beginning of another player's turn or at the beginning of a round. Okay. Um, that affects a player for their entire round normally. Uh, the Which one are we looking at here on, on stream, Chris? Uh, I was looking at, I'm just following you. I was looking at Intercept. Yeah, that's the, uh, the GM's friend. 
is the only well there's gm's friend and one other car that's a global counter in this game uh the little shield with the with the world inside of it just means it's a global counter it, it, okay. it counters every every edge card that somebody would play against you at any oh, point geez. in time okay. um and uh overzealous trainee again it's a screw card that happens at the end of your turn and blackout is a screw card that happens again the arrows pointing to the beginning of the sales thing so it have it, you have to play that before a sale like right before before a player uh, does a sale, essentially, and I'll explain really quick how that would happen. So, as an example, um, if I were my turn, I would say I'm going to use my store transfer to sell this collectible. Okay, so I move the marker over to the card, the customer card, and then I flip the customer, and I find out that it's a delinquent. Um, so if somebody else wanted me to not be able to field the sale, they would say, you know what? No, you lose that sale. It's a blackout. The power went out in the building. You can't make that sale. All right. A chain that happens here, just to d demonstrate, because this is actually a pretty good example, because they, I couldn't field that sale, I still have to roll to find out if this guy stole from us in the store. If he stole from me, then whatever I roll, let's say I roll the green condition, that goes into a stolen. It gets subtracted from my round total at the end of this round. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. But again, anyway, that's a good. That's a good place. That's a good time to play a blackout card like that. But again, if he played the blackout, I could, and I had this card in my hand, this GM's friend. I could say, you know what? No, the GM turned the lights back on, and I made that sale. General manager. If you guys aren't familiar with the term yeah. GM. Um, <laughs> And uh, then, like, if Lyle's in the mix, too, and they, you guys really don't want me to make the sale, Lyle could be like, yeah, you know what? But that green, a trainee walked up, and he was like, oh, you really don't need that that really expensive collectible. There's one that's just as good. That's $25. <laughs> and, nice. and he bumps, oh, that he bumps the nice, condition nice, down nice, to nice. a red condition. So right. that sale goes from being a great sale to a really mediocre sale. You need to get that anyway. on Amazon for... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a trainee is like, hey, you know, I saw it on Amazon. Or, You're right, right, right. <laughs> um, little rat. All right. Yeah. Um, so that so that, uh, does that help you guys a little bit? And and yeah, on how the, yeah, this, sure. these cards work. Yeah. yeah, that are in our hand right now. Okay. Yeah, they're probably the most like complicated aspect of the game. Um, uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. I have What's the. One... Uh, Sorry. Go what do you do to replenish your hand? Um, so I'll go through the rounds real quick. I actually have a round tracker. Um, that I put together. Um, there's a little clipboard, <laughs> just like a manager walking the sales floor. Nice. Uh, and you're going to start, we're going to start with round one. Uh, we draw and resolve the first event. And the event cards are these guys right here. I'm going to keep all those hidden for right now because these are, they're, they're fun. Um, okay. But we draw and resolve the first event. Then uh, players draw the turn order from this bag here. Uh, you'll see that it says random turn generator. Yep. Um, we're going to shuffle it, and then I'm just going to actually deal it out to you guys right now. That's the order we go in. And every round, oh. that's how we're going to figure out who goes first, okay. and second, and third, and fourth. Oh, you can put a little barrel not... next to everyone. Or, yeah. Or me, or yeah. something. Okay. You're going to put it out in front of oh, you. Oh, put it in front of I... us. Oh, okay. Yep. And then the way this, w the reason I did it this way is because um, I really wanted to try to randomize, you know, you know, who would go after, who would go next, and who would go last. Because in sales, that's how it works. You know, sometimes, you know, somebody somebody gets a sale before somebody else. But anyway, um, so in this scenario, I would go first, and then you guys would have, you know, the ability to really screw me. Um, sometimes the person who goes last is at a better advantage because maybe everybody already used every one of their department edge cards on everyone else, and the last person going is pretty much scot free. Um, so again, these are just examples and everything like that, but, uh, but that's turn order. Uh, that's how we determine turn, turn order. So I'm going to throw these back in real quick. Oh, so those don't count right now. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, I, I figured it will do. And then we just hit R on that bag and that shuffles them up. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, round one. And then what you, your question was, Matt, is how do we refresh those cards? There's an edge card refresh at the end of every round. So after the first round. Um, the, whoever went first that, that turn uh, chooses how many cards they want to discard, and then they draw back up to five okay. edge cards. Yeah. Um, so at any given time, everyone always has starts the turn with five edge cards. There's no like drawing or anything like that. It's just that um, during the refresh, you go back to five cards, 
if you have four and you want to just draw one, you could do that. If you have uh, five and want to discard all of them, you could discard them and get five new cards. Cool? Cool. Yep. All right. Tide deck. Um, and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's, that's how basically it's going to work. Uh, the events are pretty straightforward, and, and as we go through the turn tracker, it, we'll see how it goes. So this kind of snakes cool. down through here. Okay, I see. Yeah, I, I did the arrows that way. Again, th my inspiration for this, oddly enough, was actually Star Wars Rebellion, <laughs> uh, where there's a, a turn tracker that goes, like, diagonal. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Yeah. As I was writing it out, the, the inspiration for the turn tracker came from Star Wars Rebellion. Cool. Uh, so, um, yeah. So I'll pull this back, and we'll do a little shuffle shuffle, and we'll start it off. Awesome, man. Cool. So we me, okay. So we're just start. like 30, 30 seconds. I need to hop out and just blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Dad. Yeah, this is cool. Yes, yeah, so, people are already saying, "Take my money," says Soto. <laughs> Sold on this game. Take my money. Yeah, if you guys, I mean, if, if, and if anyone in chat like has questions because I'm kind of paying attention to this, just let me know and and we can. Um, stop I did and, have one and... question. Uh, there's, I have a card that has like, I don't know how to describe this. Uh, Looks like a dude under a magnifying glass in the top okay. right. Yeah. So your your card is um, I, I I think I know which one it is. Um, but basically, I mean, I can put it out. We're just learning yeah. here. So. so so that one, if somebody tries to terminate one of your employees, you could play that in response to it. Okay. Uh, that little symbol is like a human resource symbol, meaning that it's it's only really good for two things. It counters a termination check where you have to roll to see if your employee gets terminated. Or you can actually use this to screw somebody, too. Um, let's say, Matt, because they're... Uh, sorry, I forgot that one thing. Mm -hmm. The employee review phase. Do you see that on the, the turn tracker? Mm -hmm. That's where you f choose to fire and hire employees. Um, so those employees that you have right now, when we get to the employee review phase, you can discard your employees to get new ones if you don't like the way they performed um, and you want to try to get better employees. Um, and... This card that Chris has, he can actually use that during that phase to stop you from firing an employee. So, oh, like, like if he doesn't like so, his dude over here, I can say, no, exactly. no, Matt, you're stuck with uh, you're got stuck it, with this it. bro. Yep. Like if you if you if you're ticked off because the smoker every time you try he tries to make a sale is on a, a smoke break and you're losing tons of sales because of him, right? And you try to fire him and then then Chris, you you could be like, ah, uh, yeah, you know what, nah, 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 you you got to keep that smoker. <laughs> 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 He's got friends in high places. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. Right. And decision says this reminds them too much of work. <laughs> no, it, it, and it will, and, and that's the thing. But but again, there's a there's a cathartic. The comedic elements that are in it are, are really it's almost like a cathartic thing to work through. No, totally. As you guys as you guys see the employees and as you guys see the customers, if you've worked retail, you guys are going to be 100 percent on point. And know exactly what <laughs> yeah what we're talking about. Oh, so. totally. I've worked retail. Matt, but Matt, have you ever worked in retail? Yeah, I work at GameStop, brother. Oh, right, oh, dude. Nice. <laughs> You've seen right, all these yeah. people. <laughs> Lyle, have you worked retail? I have never worked retail. What? Oh. Yeah. So, so this is this is actually, and that's the other thing. It's it's um, the cool thing about it for me is that if if this does get to the point where I, I'm able to publish it, um, it, I, it, I like that it'll be able to share the, share the experience with people who've never worked retail because so many people that haven't worked it, I think there's elements to this game that that help teach that in a way, like right. the things that you don't you don't read in the manual. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, I definitely worked in sporting goods, and I sold Christmas ornaments for a while, including candy, at a place mm. I used to call Chris's Mountain of Magic. <laughs> it sounds really nice. But it was actually called Christmas Mountain Magic, but I'd answer the phone and say, Chris's Mountain Ma Magic. <laughs> dude, you got him, bro. <laughs> Yo, I was the best Christmas really? ornament salesman in the world, dude. Christopher Radko actually, for days. Get good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, didn't you didn't you used to sell uh, snow babies, dude? Yeah, dude, snow babies. I knew my snow baby <laughs> game. I had Matt snow baby, Christopher Racco. Yo, you've put up your Christmas tree. I will judge you by your Christmas tree, dude. I know my ornaments, so don't try to play me on your ornaments. <laughs> well, don't play me. I just looked around the room and we're in a mall. Cool. Yeah, um, that was and courtesy of Chris yeah. because he, he busted me because when I developed <laughs> the game in uh, tabletop sim. Yeah. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no, we were playing in the middle of a church <laughs> at one point. <laughs> I was like, why are we in a church? <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. Like, 
Yeah, well, this is cool. The mall is awesome, too. The Galleria, yeah, I didn't even dude. notice that either. This is hilarious. The Galleria. This is really hilarious. Okay. Uh, uh, where's where's you know, the real wall? Ta- real talk here, I spent about an hour and a half uh, looking for HDRI 3D images to find this mall image. So, <laughs> uh, good for you. <laughs> Stolen mall images. Dude, I don't, I don't judge that, man. I spent, <laughs> I spent days looking through, through uh, stock photos. <laughs> All right, so let's do this thing, guys. Let's play some of this. Let's get this game started before we take a break. Yeah, let's get going. Everyone so, wants to get so, pissed off. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll find out who's going to go first. Uh, I'll do, go ahead and shuffle these and then deal them out to you guys. Okay. Shuffle I guess I don't up and deal. Shuffle up and deal. Oh, I think I got chick, the same chick. one. Chick, chick, um, chick, chick, chick. So I will be going third. I will be going first. Oh, nice. What'd and you get, then, Maddie? What'd you get, Maddie? Oh, got sorry. I got fourth. a... You got the four, four barrel? Oh, cool. right. Your Diddy right. Kong so, barrel right there? Yeah. Yo, Diddy Kong? <laughs> so here we go. First event. First event is... Big concert. Woo! Oh. Each player loses one employee this round due to illness. Oh. oh. Strange plague passes over the country as a popular artist launches their national tour. Weird. Strange. <laughs> so no one showed up so for work strange. the next day. So. Yeah, so... So you guys choose. You guys choose which one of your employees you're not going to be able to use this this round, this first round. Um, okay. Just you can flip them like like Matt did. I uh, usually tap them like magic cards, like if I can't use them. <laughs> uh, how do I how do I tap them? You want to stay with uh, my uh, old man? Here, rotate I'm this one. You don't want hot mess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm staying with my old man, dude. I trust this guy's going to get it done. Actually, yeah. yeah this was a tough choice for me right here. That's a risky move. Between that hot is a mess and because I have to I have to beat this check. I have to beat my health check. Check, check, check. Yeah. All right. So, I'm like uh, real scared about mine too, man. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> maybe I should just go with this hot guy who's into chicks. <laughs> the oh, you're you're going with the check, the check as well, huh, Matt? No, you got to yeah, go yeah. go YOLO, dude. Okay. I'll hashtag YOLO swagger. <laughs> this hot guy, the rebel, is what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, he gets plus two female customers, but couples don't like him. He's obviously a hot dude. <laughs> he's he's a hot dude. Yeah, that's oh, awesome. Dude, he's like he's like ne- he's like my dude's like nemesis. I get minus two to female customer because I've got a neck. Beard. <laughs> <laughs> Learn the lore, Chris. Jeez. I am, dude. I'm playing old Read man. I'm playing old man. <laughs> you are the old man. You don't get it yet. <laughs> so, I don't. Um, so we'll go through the, like go through an order here. So Lyle has nobody has to roll for. Uh, Chris, you have to roll old faithful. So go ahead and roll old faithful. See if he. See yeah, if son. He, he's helped to come in. What do I have to roll? Um, for plus? him, the check 11 is uh, eleven. So, what does oh, he need God. to roll to that he that he just falls? <laughs> Less than oh, like roll a big old <laughs> two <laughs> right <laughs> off the bat. No, you're actually really good at this. <laughs> so, old faithful didn't He's really show. This third. So, and I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. Did I do? No, you, you didn't. Um, but it, you you do get a death counter. So, we're gonna add that to old faithful's card. Oh my god! <laughs> I got a big old black cube yeah, right on the crazy. welcome to town. That's right. This guy's at home and his bowels are rough. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny stuff. Sick old All man. Right. All right, good game, guys. Good game, Westgro. Worst game ever. Don't buy this game. <laughs> this game rocks. It's not time to me when I'm streaming this with the other people. It's, I'm I'm the one getting this luck. Um. So next would be, I don't. Have, I have to roll for uh, my store transfer to see if she's acclimated. Hopefully she is. So let's see. What are you rolling? Eleven plus as well. No, uh, she is fifteen plus. Is acclimated. Dude, and acclimated. Roll, Nineteen. Nineteen. 19. So, so now she actually goes from only being able to sail, field one sail to being able to do three now. Ass. So thanks. wow, Ass. nice roll, dude. Yeah, okay, all right. Over those Everybody, weighted, over that's a level up. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, and then Matt, you're gonna go ahead and roll for your uh, on the edge, dude. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Big old one right here. On the edge. Oh, what roll? the hell? Actually, really. Easy. Wait, was that a roll? Or oh, yeah, what the f- yeah, man. You stuck it to the it table. Left my hand at high speed. <laughs> Eighteen. Okay. I can't help the table has stopped it. Get good. <laughs> All right, good. You came to work. Good for you. All yeah, right, so good for you. Uh, what an employee. All right. So uh, we'll start nosing. with plate number one, Lyle. You're going to get three sales. So we're going to put your customers in on the middle of the table here. One, two, three. Okay. All right. And then these are your items. Um, so one other one thing I we didn't really get to touch on sales. So I'm going to touch on those real quick. So um, you get to see all the sales before you make the sales. Um, 
So you get to choose, let's say, so for example, the microwave is only worth $500. Um, the tablet is also only worth 500. But let's say this was 500. These were both a thousand. Okay. You could only field two sales with Neckbeard. And theoretic, like, theoretically, it could be less because something could cause you to not be able to field a sale. Um, okay. So at any point, you can actually say, you know what, I'm skipping this sale. But word of caution, some customers, if you skip them or ignore them, will actually be something could happen. You could lose your next sale because of it. You can lose all your sales because of it. Oh, shit. So skipping okay. sales, it's something you can do, but it, it could it could potentially hurt you. Okay, so since I can only do two sales, I have to pick two out of these three to do. Um, what... Yeah, but but it has to be just like reading a book, left to right. So, oh, I can't choose so have, the third right, one. Right, this is the first customer that came in. This is the second one that came in. This is the third one. And you have to... You can't just ignore the first customer, Lyle, just because you think she smells like fish. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what is this nerding off thing, too, by the way? Uh, so nerding off is an ability. Just like so, the term nerding off, I don't know if you're familiar with it. It's, it's basically when you get really excited and you're a nerd, um, and you just start spewing off like all this like factual yeah. knowledge about yeah, the product. Sure, 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 sure. You're so uh, smart, dude. Gonna, yeah. So Lyle gets plus three? How does that work? It, no, he it, well, it gets once per turn. So once per turn, he can use the ability, nerding off, to sell this. Let's say he used it on the microwave. He could sell that microwave in the nerdiest way possible to that customer as the player. So he will pitch it to us around the table, and then we will vote if he was nerdy enough. In oh, that no. Oh, <laughs> yes. no. Yes, yes. Go for the bonus. There's RP, there's oh, RP in you're, this? <laughs> your employee, he's wearing a shirt with the Ring of Fire from L5R on it. You're going to be fine. He's honored. <laughs> he's honored. <laughs> That's great. Um, so, okay, so Lyle, you, um, you choose now. You choose um, what, you want to, what you want to sell, yeah, dude. So let's let's yeah let's let's do these sales, man. Let's do so, them. So you have you have technically only two uh, because of neck beard right now, and the other yep. one's not available. So go ahead and take take the counter and choose the first. Uh, you're going to sell with neck beard, right? Yeah. Let's see who your customer is. Here we go. Opening the yep. customer door. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, the delinquent. Oh, no. So you chose wisely because of your microwave, He would have been stealing from you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you chose wisely there. Um, and then remember, you guys, you have your department edge cards in your hand, too. So be mindful of those, Lyle. Oh, same yeah. with you. Oh, um, right, right. Some, some of your edge cards could actually potentially negate a negative effect of your employee or negative effect of a customer card. And they will say it on the cards. Okay. Okay. How do you decide how many? Products and customers come out. Is it always three and three year? It's it's always three and three. The, so the normal is three and three. Um, an event could trigger doubling traffic, and traffic if you if you've been in retail means how many customers you have. So, so if you have more than three, how do you? Um, that's the, that's the interesting thing. So um, you might actually have more customers come in than you can actually handle with your sales force. And then you have to strategically figure out which ones do I skip? Which ones do I actually go? Well, for? what about the other way around? What if you have five tokens like Chris would have, and yep. then there's only three customers. Um, you just have extra sales at the end of that round. Okay. That's okay. it. Yep. It's very, it's, it's, it doesn't happen very often. Let's put it that way <laughs> that okay. you end up with yeah. sales at the end left over. Okay. So what um, do I do here? And just as a heads up too, there are actually some, there's, there's a customer called a celebrity that will come up. Um, if you sell to a celebrity um, and it's successful, then it adds two more sales to that that round. Just like if a, if, a, if like Mike Tyson shows up at your store, and everybody's oh, like, got it, got it, got Tyson it. shops there, you know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, so he got the delinquent, so, which means so so I roll for this. So sale, he just right? rolls. Yeah, he just rolls, and he could choose if he wants to nerd off. He can, but he has to tell us if he's going to do it. You nerding off, dude? You nerding, you nerding off, bro? I'm not, I'm not nerding off, dude. Oh, lame. Okay. All right. I don't need it. <laughs> this guy doesn't know about microwaves. Uh, so it's a 13. Um, if yeah. you look at the blue card in front of you, that's your conditions. So oh, this is a yellow product value. Yep. You ah, got it. I see. So I sold it for, for mid price here. Yep. Yeah. And so you're just going to take it, rotate it, and you sold your first product for 250 Got it. Okay. Nice, Next sale. It's like a nice so, so you. That's a, okay, that's a moderately okay. So you're okay telling microwave. me I can't choose, I can't choose this, this, this homeboy. You could skip this one. You could skip it and go to this one, but skipping it again, you don't know what, what customers behind that door. It could be something that's going to hurt you if you skip it. But it could, it, it could, it could not be. Dude, am I scared? I'm trying to read Dude. my cards here. I'm trying to make sure I got stuff. Ignore to that guy, Lyle. 
He Here's, doesn't I'm, look at him, dude. He's wearing like old jeans yeah, and yeah, like yeah. an Assassin's Creed sweater. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm skipping this, dude. I'm skipping 93. this. 93. I want to see what happens. Which dude? The, like the role play right now. Yeah, 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 this, yeah. This, dude, this dude's getting skipped, dude. This is the guy who has old oh, this jeans guy. and Assassin's Creed sweater, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah. This guy right here, though. That guy has a Fiat jersey. Oh, a Fiat jersey. <laughs> yeah. What are we selling here? Are you trying to sell him a dude? I don't understand what he's no, here to it's buy. No, vehicle service, bro. Vehicle service. Oh, that's, he needs to get it? to oh. his golf tournament. <laughs> that's right. He needs to fix his fiat. Top. Yeah. So, so since I skipped this guy, what do I do? I, I have to okay, flip him flip over him. anyway, right? Yep, flip him. Okay. It's take my money, please. So oh, it would. No. Oh. oh no! No, no, no! You know what, Lyle? You, you, your nerd was weak to females anyway, so it's not as good as that's it right. seems. But it was still okay. It was, it was still better than the normal thing. Okay. Uh, flavor text on this one I'll take whatever's new and exciting make it three. <laughs> oh, nice yes. I like it look at that brooch she's wearing I All know right. it's right. so nice so, final sale go uh, uh, another oh another delinquent oh wisely. dude no no you nice. chose wisely bro you did I chose wisely dude so now you're gonna sell the delinquent a vehicle service <laughs> yeah. it's called right. you're calling the cops <laughs> <laughs> it's called the jail service you wait right here Lyle's uh, actually it's really a 14. What 14, is that? I think, right on the edge of green. It's green, green wow. product value, dude. Yo, give uh, me that green. Oh, oh, I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Uh, let me, you know what? Actually, this guy is about to Oh, 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 oh what, is what is this? What is this? What is this? Hold customer on. called an expert relative. So basically, that the, the customer, you know, you sold it to them, but they were like, eh. I'm talk to my buddy. Hold on. Let me talk to my His uncle. Aunt's like, I don't know. Vehicle services are just, they're a dime a dozen. What? Things. Yeah, yeah, so now it's not worth that. So now it's worth so yellow? Instead, yeah, instead of green, you get a yellow condition on that sale. Boo. This guy called up Uncle Westgrove, and Uncle Westgrove was like, uh-uh. <laughs> Like, listen, <laughs> listen, Tony. Tony, yeah, Tony I can fix that for you. Don't fall for this crap. <laughs> All right. So did I just I just stack my shit over here, or? Yeah, yeah. so... so yeah, well, I could, I could play the, a card, too, at this point, right? Can I play? I'm going to play could, a card. Yes, yes. I'm going to play, I'm gonna play <laughs> overzealous <laughs> trainee. What? Dude. <laughs> Take I'm any sorry, sale, move that, it to red, dude. You don't deserve this, dude. This is like <laughs> this. No, guys, this is this is ridiculous. Get Look, red, man, Lyle. Get red. This. Overzealous trainee. <laughs> this guy was. Yo, you can get this. Yo, you can get this on Amazon. You know that? You can you go saw get how this. effectively that. Yeah, you were selling this to him, and he yeah. came out. He's like, "My name's Ted, also." <laughs> <laughs> so he goes to red. Yeah. All right, uh, Lyle. That. You didn't deserve that, man. That's Thanks. Get wrecked. I appreciate that, man. Get wrecked. Thanks, man. Uh, all right. So, so then we just clean up Lyle's Lyle's space here. That's the end of his turn. What does this go? Right. Discard. Yeah, discard. Okay. Up here. Um, and then because I'm not I'll doing anything it. this turn, guys. I've lost all my chances. All I want to do is screw you guys. <laughs> yes. And then I'm going to slide these over real quick so I can put a discard. Customer discard here. Okay. And now we go to round two. Chris, you have no one to sell, right? Chris, no. your employees. My old man's and dying. You, and you have no edge cards that could give Wait, you so, employee, so, right? what are, so What are these counters that are left over here? What, what happens to these? Uh, oh, they just go back. They, they go back to you. So uh, let me ask this. So if at this, on the card that says start, does that mean now yes. at the start of my turn? Or is that the start of this whole it, round? Actually, it could be at the start of the round, or you could play it at the start of a player's turn. It's you kind of interchangeable. Um, normally, you want to if if it doesn't say specifically to play at the start of somebody's turn, um, you want to play it at the start of the round because it'll give it'll be ma maximum effectiveness at that point. Right. But um, but it, but yeah, it's it's your choice. Wait, does, doesn't Chris like just not go because he has one dude at a concert and one dude that's feeling bad? Exactly. Well, I mean, yeah. he's still the manager's still in the back office, right? He still has to have a chance to maybe like call on some help, I assume, from his cards. But maybe not, dude. Yeah, I mean, the, the, at, at, I, I, technically, if he had a manager at the beginning of the round, he could have used the manager to negate. Uh, I think maybe he could have used the manager. I have to look at it uh, to make sure. Oh, I just, I just meant I'm calling him the manager. No, oh, okay, like, got it. His yeah. store is still open, right? So customers yeah. still come in. It's just yeah. his employees, one of them sick and one's out back smoking. They, they do, and that's the important. That's actually a very important uh, uh, distinction right there. So they, they do. There's three customers that are coming into Chris's store. We have to find out. Um, if uh, if who they were and if it's going to negatively affect him. To but how? Oh, because oh, I have to we're, skip we're all, them. We're all working at the same store. Yeah. So, but but like okay. they came to his department and there's got nobody. It, got it. Got it. Got there it. There was nobody in the department. I'm actually across town. I'm <laughs> 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 actually in store west. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so we just flip his customers because he can't do anything. Rich miser, uh, feminist. 
and delinquent. So he does have to roll to see if the delinquent stole from his store. Nice. Uh, so go to Rich Miser and the feminists don't do anything to him. And and it's a thousand dollar item, so don't roll green. Oh, uh, dude. Oh, uh, this is gonna be. Sad, Wait. So Chris. so if I roll green. Yeah, he steals. He's gonna steal rest. it at green level, dude. So what and do I have to have roll? To pay back the company. You roll your die and just see roll your how die, dude. The dress don't even worry about it. Just roll your die. <laughs> this is lame. This is I'll so lame. It. Just roll your you die, dude. Have, hold on, hold on. Given just, your, I almost rolled a crit. Yeah, that's a, that's almost a crit, dude. <laughs> that's actually really funny to me. You you might have you might have a card in your hand, and I don't know, but you might have a card in your hand. Um, and I'll I'll spot out some names. Patience of a saint will counter what just happened. Manager would actually count, counter what just happened, I believe. Hey, Great. you know what else would have I countered have, it? I have none of that. The card you played on Lyle over Zealous Trainee. <laughs> 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 I mean, it would have. Eat, eat it. Lyle. Eat it. It would. Thanks, Matt. Eat it. All right, so this, goes, so this guy stole my awesome, really expensive yeah. dress because I was sick and smoking, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, no, he didn't show up because he was sick from the concert, he was, yeah, well, and he's sick. Well, yeah. I'm one hungover really and sick. sick. One yeah. was really I'm the sick worst employee, employee was really ever. Sick. <laughs> yeah. Get good. Oh, this game. Okay. <laughs> this, this game is is brutal. This game is brutal. All right, so I got robbed. I didn't come to work, so I got robbed. It makes sense. All right. It so, makes a lot of sense. so yeah. So uh, then it goes to Maddie. Or no, me. Sorry. No, no, it goes to you. Yeah. It goes to me. So right. wait, you've already done a roll for this chick, right? I have, yeah. I did so the, she's I got, permanently acclimated? She's permanently acc- acclimated. Westro, yep. actually, you know what, dude? Now that I think about it, I think that you might have <laughs> needed a headcount adjustment. What? Double check. I think that she might not be there. I think she might be at the store across town where I work. <laughs> headcount adjustment? <laughs> Aren't you? Aren't you a working mind? I can't my be department? sure. I can't, I can't let it happen. I can't let it happen. Counterspell you. Oh, with the. All right. All right. <laughs> Never mind. She was there. She was there all along. That was my mistake. <laughs> She was just yeah. She was she was just doing inventory. So yeah, the premise of and and, and again, I, I'm gonna go like as we play the game, I'm gonna go into the psychology of why, how I came up with some of these cards. But like the the idea of of the headcount adjustment when in retail one department is understaffed, or you know even if you know somebody's somebody feels like they need more employees, they'll go to like the manager of a store and be like, hey, let me borrow somebody from computers this week to put in my schedule you know, instead of my normal staffing. And yeah. that's the whole idea is that you're, you're going to another department. You're like, Hey, listen, dude, you have enough employees. I, I need this one. And, and we're, I, I'm taking it and it's now mine until further. Notice. So Matt just gained her. No, no because he countered. Because, otherwise, oh, he I countered it. Okay. Okay. He countered it. I, right? girl. I, was office and I was like, listen, dude, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I, can't, I need this person. In my <laughs> oh, that's savage. Yeah, okay. You need your bad. Recounter. <laughs> I get you. I get you. <laughs> All right. So that's how that resolves. I like that. Uh, that's good. And uh, so go ahead, if you, we'll do the three sales. One, two, three. And... <laughs> Sorry, Molly. <laughs> yeah, that was not Molly. That, that's Tell really bad. bad. Yeah. It's my, my yeah, that's like indecision lost it right when he came in. I can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. So uh, what are you selling use... here? Swing set, basketball hoop. And a door. Oh, two two <laughs> thousand dollar ones, huh? Oh, Westro, <laughs> hacks, cards, rapes. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, so uh, go ahead robbed. and flip. It's a celebrity. Oh. Um, so wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna. I, I think stuff is <laughs> happening, Wes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think code brown. I think there's a code brown. <laughs> oh, code brown. Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> oh. So this, oh, actually, for some, I actually, I put this, I put the wrong symbol on this one. I apologize, but that actually, that's it. My my employee, I have no counter for that, and my employee lost all her sales counters. So all three of my sales counters are gone. And, oh, nice. Does this one go away too? Yeah, yeah. So Mila Kunis walked in and your employee just shit herself. And like, <laughs> you know, there's there's crap yeah. all over the bathroom. Yeah. The code brown yeah. is basically a customer had a, had bad aim in the public restroom, and you drew the short straw. You're the one that has to go clean up that bathroom. This code and brown is this card, man. Oh, the savage, dude. It's savage. OP, dude. It's so OP. <laughs> it's got to be nerfed. Um, it's actually really Darth Molly says, code brown has totally happened to me over and over when I worked for the state park system. Oh, I bet. Oh, man. <laughs> That's savage, Darth. Oh. That actually sucks. So, so I only have to flip him. I have to flip him and see uh, hot chick. 
and McDreamy, uh, not not really an issue. So, Wait, so, the, there's, <laughs> so what would have happened if I had counters on her and McDreamy came up? Um, actually, I only have one employee left, but normally with the hot chick and McDreamy, the idea behind these two, uh, the hot chick comes in and every guy from all like that you have that sells for you goes and goes and, and talks to the hot chick. So yeah, you, yeah, yeah. They, it pulls a counter from anybody who's not actively in the sale. Um, and McDreamy yeah. is the reverse. McDreamy comes in, all the females go to McDreamy to sell the McDreamy. Have you heard of the new Kirby game coming out on the DS? <laughs> It has rainbows like your hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get you. Savage, savage. <laughs> real good. Oh my uh, God. So, um, all right, so that, that is my turn. I, I ended up with nothing. Nice. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Welcome to hell. <laughs> hell, indeed. You know what? Savage. Does this mean it's my turn? Yeah. It does mean it's your turn. Oh, I can't Luckily, wait. Luckily, I read the newspaper and heard that Muse was going to be in town. So I made sure to go to the job fair beforehand. Oh, and what? I could find another employee. <laughs> what to replace to replace the on the edge? No, well, I mean, yeah. So basically, so uh, he still has on the edge. He has on the edge and, and all the counters, but he's he's get he gets to add another employee with job fair. So just draw the top one off the deck. Damn. Yep. If oh. nobody has a response to it, yeah. And then that's your, that's now your that's now your employee. Ah, I found the creeper. <laughs> That's unfortunate for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Minus two to all customers. <laughs> this guy sucks. Okay. Uh, this is good. You can look at his uh, the notes. You'll often find him uh, staring down customers from around the corner of the aisle. Uh, oh, God. well, it was it was a panicked move. I had to grab whoever I could from that job fair, and you know what happens, man. Yeah. No, well, I mean it was does the, the other guy just. You know, didn't show up because of the concert, but you had the foresight to well, go and hit up. So you said drop. you said I can I can play start cards here, right? Yeah. Dude. Um, at the start of his turn, yeah, yeah. This is still the start of his turn, even though he played a card. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, dog. Okay, so I'm gonna play a card on on uh on the edge, dude. Okay. I'm gonna play employee misconduct. Da da da. <laughs> You're a dick of an employee. Uh, dude. so. This is like roll a crit, dude, and save your save your job. Basically, you're, you're a dick. Like a real problem. Yeah, get rid of this dude. Get wrecked. You're gonna hang out with your little creeper. He's gonna be your only employee left. Eighteen. Uh, in, but he still loses him for this turn. Dude, this is yes. this is a brutal roll, bro. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you did something 20? real bad, man. You did something bad. I didn't. But, you're suspended but for the week. But that, is a, that is a bad card, dude. <laughs> Get out of here with that. That's actually like real rough. <laughs> That's terrible. Get so tapped. You're left, <laughs> left with just your creeper. <laughs> Some creeper okay. turn. All right. So three sales for Matt, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just got this creeper, dude. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Collectible, fishing gear, and a lawnmower. All right. All right. So I'm gonna take my little, my little green bee here and put it next it's to this homeboy. You're gonna try to sell us collectible. It's a celebrity. Oh, oh celebrity. damn it! That totally. Oh, just... You would have, you would have had those extra, extra sales too. Had your employee not, not, dude, uh, it's conducted. No, <laughs> it's actually like a real problem. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, blaster. Let's see. Let's see if this this woman wants to buy this sweet baseball. This Ty Cobb side or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh nope! It's okay. Now hold on, hold on. Once a crit miss, so, so immediately respond? when you roll a win, when you, or I, when you roll a one, it's a crit miss. You lose. Um, you lose the sale. No, okay. no. So I can't. It, I can't play a card from my hand. Unless you, I mean, it depends on. Uh, I mean, it, because if it affects like the value of the sale, no, because it's a lost sale. It's I immediately mean, a lost sale. Okay, like so. It, even if it says just move it to a flat other level, it doesn't add a number to it. Right. When when it's a loss, like when it's a when it's a, a crit miss. So when it's a crit, you straight up uh, lose it. Okay. Exactly. It's just like if you crit miss in like an RPG, it's you're you're not you lost the sale. Yeah, Majid says it's even a negative one because okay. of his ability. 
He's in Venice too. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Which means yeah. I wrap back around to 19. <laughs> yeah, I meaning you you literally got below zero, dude. You got yes. below zero. That's how the dice oh, you, you, like, you were so bad at selling it that you were she so... felt so bad for you that she actually bought it. Is that yeah. <laughs> I'm... you were creeping so hard on the celebrity, dude. She was like, You should she was be loving dead. it. She wanted you dead, dude. She, she, yeah, yeah. She saw me. She's like, uh. Well, you know what, man? You know that guy from Family Guy, the the sailor, who's like has wooden arms and legs. <laughs> yeah. That's the guy right now over in the fishing gear department. So I'm just gonna ignore him. So we're just okay. leaving. I'm not gonna spend. <laughs> so let's find out. He's right here. Who was? He's not even worth it, dude. It was a college couple. Oh, so... a college couple. Oh yeah, yeah. They just no, judge dude, you. I don't care about you two. You guys can go back to UNM or whatever. <laughs> uh, UNM. I'll tell you what, dude. The lawnmower man himself is about to buy this lawnmower from my lawnmower man. <laughs> lawnmower man, let's so, see who it is. Oh, it's a uh, hot chick. Okay. Well, that's perfect because my little yes. creepy weirdo is right there already. <laughs> oh, I know, right? He's all like, <laughs> he's right there for the sale. <laughs> he's sitting in the corner. Let's see. Let's see if he can if he get can creeper. Sell. Let's see if he can oh. creep out on this. <laughs> a four. Well, that's not good. But I'll tell you what. Red product what value. He's wearing her favorite brand of cologne, and he thinks they should be friends. <laughs> <laughs> it works. That goes. Your, your sale goes to green. Creeper moves into the friend zone. <laughs> Anyone have a... No, he moved out of the friend zone into her apartment. Oh, does yeah. anyone Damn. A, does anyone have a counter? You're going to counter me? Anyone counter, counter me? And, no, and a counter could don't. be either the, a hard counter where you counter let's be friends, or after the fact, after let's be friends resolves, you change the, or, affect, or affect his sale with uh, something like we did to Lyle at the beginning of the game. <laughs> no? Okay, there we go. Okay. Right. That's that's green product uh, oh. conditions. Wait, for so wait, what 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 cards can counter this? Like, uh, what stage of the sale are we right like now? Chris put so, that overzealous trainee card. So or, overzealous trainee. It's like um, a screw card right now. Customer calls expert relative is is one that would 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 affect the end of a sale. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, this is considered end of sale. Okay. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the end of the sale. After the that sale, it's the sale. It's the it's got the little sell thing with an arrow curving over it. At, yep. Yeah, the other one it, that points toward the beginning of the sale is the is, is before the sale. Got it. It didn't got get it. creepier, Darth Molly. That that girl fixed him. They thought <laughs> he was creepy, but he was actually just had and he had gout, so it looked like he was staring. But she fed him oranges, and now he's fine, and he moved in. It's not creepy anymore. They're married. <laughs> she fixed okay. him with citrus. It's not creepy more. anymore. God. It's not creepy anymore, right? It's not. Cre- no, she loves him, and he loves her, and they have a wonderful life together. Hey, it's love, man. What? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> it's life. It's how it works. All right. So that's yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. That's what, the what other round. So uh, what we do now is we'll we'll count count up everybody's cards. This was uh, a rough okay. first day at work, man. How did you guys so, feel about our first day? I, what, by the way, what's our what's the what's the company we're working at called? What what, what company? That's is right. It? We didn't we didn't come up with we the didn't name come up with the company the business we're working at. Um, Matt, where are we working? What, great what purchase. Is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ar- Argus. Argus. <laughs> the the Legion Homeworld. <laughs> okay. I, just don't worry about it, dude. We're working know, at chat, Acme. We're... What do you think chat wants us yeah, to be? Chat. Yeah, what's, what's it? Salt Mill. <laughs> the salt camp mill. company. <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. Um, the salt sorry. mill camp company. <laughs> so these these ones that we tapped earlier, it has the word lose on them. So do, are these just lost, like, permanently? Which ones? Um, no, the, for, for the round. Lot, lose doesn't mean get rid of. Lose just means they're spent for the week. Yeah, just for, the, just for that week. And if I have to clarify things, just let me know. I, I, I believe it says lose for the week. But if it doesn't, no, this one just pick. says loses one employee this round due to illness. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that just means like they're out for the week, not that that's they correct. like move away to Cincinnati or something. That, that's right. correct. <laughs> Darth says we should name it Joe's Place, a division of Wall Parts. <laughs> 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 Joe's Place. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So, so now we're at the end of the first round. Mm hmm. Go on. Okay. So um, I am. Am I supposed to be seeing something in this tablet? Because all I see is white. It's yeah, but uh, it, I'm just changing. They'll see on stream. So okay. uh, yeah, that might be because your Mac me. world. Lyle, what did you end up with? Your total? Uh, five hundred dollars. Five hundo. Chris, you're at negative thousand. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Blaster. What's happening in this company is that there's an there's a variety <laughs> of quality managers 
ranging from Chris level <laughs> to Lyle level. <laughs> and they each have the ability to manage their employees differently. Yes. And my yeah, employees didn't so. show up for work. That's my right. problem. Yeah, and I you're got a robbed. really good manager. <laughs> so I mean, uh, so I like to get my managerial employees skills. The, Are you going to yeah. let this guy just come back to work? I guess. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's the problem. Uh, we do the edge refresh, edge refresh cards based on turn level. <laughs> I'm going to no. fire the old man because he's old and had health issues. <laughs> You're fired. Let him, let him be, bro. <laughs> I'm totally going to fire the old man. Oh, uh, that's that's ageism. I know. I know. Yeah, you're being do we have to roll for that? <laughs> okay. So we're on the edge card refresh phase? Yes. Edge yeah. card refresh is happening now. Card so uh, based on the, the turn order that we just had, uh, so Lyle is going to choose first, which how many cards do you want to discard from your edge cards that you have? And then draw back up to five. So um, do you want to discard any? That's the, that's the other question. I am going to discard. No, I'm not going to discard any. I'm, I just want to get one. Okay, so just take it from the top of the deck there. And uh, next is Chris. And then you just, you just put that in my hand twice. Did I? <laughs> How did oh, I? No, that's yours. Oh, never mind. My name is below that. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to draw two. And <laughs> Matt. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna toss this lightsaber. Really? Oh yeah, dude. Can we see because this? Because I'm I'm gonna be targeted. I already know I'm going to be targeted, so I need counters. I need to dig for counters. Yeah, okay. I know how this is going to go. Like He's been maxing already. This is ter- this is ever- no. Well, I just know Matt's how just it goes. played like, with Chris Matt. Is here, I'm going to need everything I can to try to protect myself. <laughs> It's just that's how it is. Especially now that I'm a negative a thousand, I don't care now. Now I'm taking the, the ship <laughs> I'm is aware burning. Of how good and that I... card I got rid of is, but like, like you gotta you gotta remember who you're playing with too. So. No, it's true. Chris, Chris is a Chris is a loose cannon right now. <laughs> I got nothing pissed. to lose. <laughs> I am sinking ship, and I'm taking you down with me. I don't care anymore. I, b- I believe that. I will break your game. <laughs> just gonna clean up uh, what we had here, uh, and then we put these back. These barrels back in the... Uh, what are these are random figure? sales chits over here? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think uh, they might oh, I think they're mats. mats. They're my what? Your sales chits. No. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That sounds like me. <laughs> uh, uh, that ain't me. <laughs> okay, so I've got to go back down to two employees now? Um, no. Um, not until the next employee review, which is oh. going to be... Yeah, you, get, you have three employees now until uh, the end of this round, the, the round we're going uh, into. So we're now at the next part? Oh, I see. Yep. Round one, round two. Okay. Yep. So, um, if you do, you need to take a do a little break, Chris, before we go into the next round. Uh, we. Could, I was just curious. Okay, so we're we're already we're already where we're at. Oh, we don't have to fire anyone yet. Oh, so an employee no. review happens every other round. Every yeah. other round. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. damn. Okay. Right. okay, that makes sense. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's take a little break then. Uh-huh. Oh. oh. Get some of these. <laughs> We're stuck with our employees. Yeah. The, oh, oh, I'm gonna fire this guy. Glad I didn't get rid of this thing. Well, we'll be back for part two, guys. I'm enjoying this game so far. It's a quick. We 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 got the basic rundown. We played one round. Uh, we caught up with it. Uh, I'm glad. It looks like people in chat are enjoying it, having a blast. Like I said, totally ask questions. Uh, how many rounds says Aaron Air? I think there's yeah, six. total total of six rounds. Six um, rounds. Uh, I I can actually. <laughs> when I first made the game, the the idea was going to be uh, three months. And every round is going to be a week, and it would it came out to twelve rounds. Yeah, it was brutal, man. And <laughs> at the time, um, at the at the beginning time, uh, it, there was an event twice a month, so one one randomly every every two weeks, or you could choose like the people at the table would choose like week one and four or week one and two. Super super involved. Um, yeah, like Reach Reach was actually in the early beta test, like early alpha testing phases, nice. and it did. Like the the game took like three hours um, to get, and, and actually I think after three hours we were probably only halfway through the game. And I was like, nah, Jeez. no, <laughs> eh, no. So I, I went back to the drawing board with it. Um, the other thing too, the original department idea was that everybody's department uh, again was in the same store, but um, every department had a different number of sales. Uh, so like you might get your traffic number was different. So instead of everybody having a flat three sales every turn, oh, they might have seven sales or <clears throat> they might have four. And I balanced it out because originally the item deck was like a 300 card deck and, yeah. and each <laughs> department had their own item deck. It was like, it was like a legit inventory, dude. <laughs> it was. Yeah. I, I went, I went too I went too heavy on, on the, the retail simulation factor, um, with it. 
and I mean, even this is still pretty brutal. Like anybody who's, I, we've already heard like people saying in chat, like, "Oh my god, I can't, I can't even watch." Like this is, <laughs> I'm having flashbacks, man. You know, I kind of love that you're getting instant reactions like that, though. That's yeah, awesome. That's important. That's important. Mm-hmm. Catch people's eye. Well, awesome, man. This is good stuff. So we'll be back for part two, guys. As we play, we we dive into adventures and retail, and we go after Matt because we're gonna steal all his sales. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, see, see you then. Part two. Ah.